Welcome to the world of amazing animals. Stay safe and healthy. Will you please subscribe? You won't miss animal videos covered in future. The capybara is a giant cavy rodent native to South America. It is the largest living rodent in the world. Also called capybara, shigire, chigiro, or furcho, carpincho, and ronsoco, it is a member of the genus Hydrocerus, of which the only other extant member is the lesser capybara. Its close relatives include guinea pigs and rock cavies, and it is more distantly related to the agouti, the chinchilla, and the koipu. The capybara inhabits savannas and dense forests, and lives near bodies of water. It is a highly social species, and can be found in groups as large as 100 individuals, but usually lives in groups of 10 to 20 individuals. The capybara is not a threatened species, but it is hunted for its meat and hide, and also for grease from its thick fatty skin. The capybara has a heavy, barrel-shaped body and short head, with reddish-brown fur on the upper part of its body that turns yellowish-brown underneath. Its sweat glands can be found in the surface of the hairy portions of its skin, an unusual trait among rodents. The animal lacks down hair, and its guard hair differs little from over hair. Capybaras have slightly webbed feet and vestigial tails. Their hind legs are slightly longer than their forelegs, they have three toes on their rear feet and four toes on their front feet. Their muscles are blunt, with nostrils, and the eyes and ears are near the top of their heads. Capybaras are semi-aquatic mammals found throughout almost all countries of South America except Chile. They live in densely forested areas near bodies of water, such as lakes, rivers, swamps, ponds, and marshes, as well as flooded savanna and along rivers in the tropical rainforest. They are superb swimmers and can hold their breath underwater for up to five minutes at a time. Capybaras are herbivores, grazing mainly on grasses and aquatic plants, as well as fruit and tree bark. They are very selective feeders and feed on the leaves of one species and disregard other species surrounding it. They eat a greater variety of plants during the dry season, as fewer plants are available. Thank you for watching till the end, let's pledge to protect our wildlife, along with pets.